Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness with that because I made over 200 videos in Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe. Maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Because now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations. Now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very professional and unique without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will join your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the sections and videos and sharing, and I'll let you be the judge and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add the Happy Customers widgets on your Shopify product page and it's interactive and it has a shiny color you can customize of course and it has avatars for customers and the avatars themselves are interactive. Now I don't think you can find any free codes that will do this online. Let me show you that. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add small customizations. By the video 50 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway because this is a different chapter, as I said. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources all in one place, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one carousel and it's filterable. If I click on Google, all of the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook, Amazon and Etsy. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification. Come on, show up, show up, show up, please. Here is recent sales notification that will show up on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it. When should show up for who to show up to, returning visitors or first time visitors. And you can customize the intervals and behavior and position and colors and so on. And this by using your own custom code, no applications involved. But I'm about to show you in this video, let me scroll down. So by the way, I will scroll down to access the product page to show you the happy customers widget I'm talking about. But everything you see on the Shopify store, literally everything you see has been done in videos. So if you saw anything that you like, you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, it means it's already done in one of my previous videos. I don't remove the changes from the Shopify store. I keep them so people will see them and if they are interested, they can implement them. So this one has too much stuff. Let me get back in here and access. Oh, you say, what is this? This is actually uh, a pop-up reminder, actually an abandoned pop-up reminder that will remind the user of how many products he has on the card and is triggered by the mouse cursor. Once it try, uh, tracks the mouse cursor that is trying to leave, then it will show up. Just like right now, as you can see, uh, I was going to product page, then it show up and it shows exactly how many products in the card and a checkout button, of course, so you can pay you the money and show you. And this is by using your own custom code. So let me close this and access this product in here. And yeah, percentage and this badge, best seller, and all of this I did in videos. No applications involved. And all of them are free. Everything you see, you see here is free. Even the wishlist system. You want to add the wishlist functionality on your Shopify store without using apps? I got you. With the button here, floating button here, as well as an icon on the header, as you can see. And if I click on it, it will take me to the wish list and so on, has a add to cart button, close button, and many more. And this is by using your own custom code. But I will quit now, I promise. So what I'm talking about is this one right here, as you can see. This is a happy customers widget. It will show you the number of happy customers. You can customize the number, of course. And as I said, avatars, check out the avatar. They are even interactive, as you can see, once I hover over them, it gets lifted like that and expanded. And completely free by using your own custom code. So let me show you how to add this and how to customize the number of happy customers or text on the pictures as well. So the first thing you're going to do, or actually the first thing I have to do is reload the page because I already removed it. Let me reload. Ah, here we go. As you can see, no more in here. To add it, the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify down team. Dashboard, sorry. <laughs> Once you access Shopify dashboard, uh, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots. I am joking. Click on customize. And you might be thinking, oh, it's already available in Team Editor. No, it's actually custom code. I will show you that in a moment. So the next thing you're going to do once you access the Team Editor, 
uh, click on home page at the top of the screen, then click on Pridex, then click on default Pridex, which is the template you are using. In case you're using the default one, if you're using a different one, select that one. And let me change the product because this one is a mess. My favorite, this one in here. So after that, hover with the mouse cursor over the area where you want to add the happy customers. Yeah, I like it like in here below the byte now. Or you can add it first anywhere, then simply drag it from here. I will show you how to do that. After you click on plus, uh, search for custom liquid or I already see it in here as you can see, custom liquid. By the way, I saw a comment earlier today, someone doesn't have this option. I already made this video like two years ago, how to add custom liquid. If you don't, check out that video. But I think most of the teams now do. So click on custom liquid and you will see this prompt right here on the right of the screen this time where you can paste in some code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer or pay him, wait 24 hours, then get back to the code, then try it. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website. You click on it, then download the file. It's that liquid file. Then after that, click uh, open that file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. It's very simple, right? And as I said, it's completely free. You don't have to pay for this. So the next thing you're going to do is we need to customize here. It already shows up as you can see. So let me start by the first ones, which is the colors. So let me scroll up because I, I, I add them at first. Here it is. So the colors, as you can see, uh, the avatars, the picture, sorry. So the first one, as you can see, this is the picture, the avatar, on how avatars. This is the first one, as you can see. If I open this one in a new tab, for example, or here it is, let me click on it from here. If I open it, here is the picture. What the hell? I didn't, <laughs> okay, thank you. So, as you can see, this is the first picture, and below, this is the second picture, here it is. And the third, this is the third picture. Just, just make sure you pass in the link for the picture between the quotes. You see there is two quotes here in the beginning, and at the end, at the beginning and at the end of the URL, make sure the link is between the quotes. Otherwise, it will not work properly and the links will not be visible. And even worse, it will show the URL on the, on the widget, which is not good. So make sure to keep them between. And I added some alt keywords for the SAO purposes. I know some people are interested in that. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is the colors. The colors is very, fairly easy here. Uh, by the way, this is the text below the pictures. Once you see the pictures, this is the text, it says 1 million uh, happy customers, as you can see. You can customize the number in here, make sure to keep it realistic, not 1 million, like you're not Nike or something like that. <laughs> anyway, so, and the text is happy customers, in case you want to remove, repurpose this widget to anything you like, uh, you can do that, because this is just a simple text. And next is the colors, if I scroll down a little bit, I did everything like close at the beginning, so you don't get confused. This is the gradient color, as you can see. So this is 45 degrees, it's not a color. This ones are colors, as you can see. This one is a color, and this one is a color. So this is the beginning of the color, which is a little bit dark blue, as you can see. And this one, second one, is the uh, light blue, which is the one at the end. If I Google this one, it will show me the same color uh, on the right of the widget. Here it is, as you can see. So simply change the colors however you want, according to your Shopify style. And that's how it looks like, and it's interactive as you can see, and it's completely free, that's the best part, right? And that's how you add the happy customers widget on your product page by using your own custom code and completely free, and please hit that, but hit that like button. I spent valuable time to build this stuff and give it to you for free, I would appreciate a like button or a comment. But for now, I think my job is done, so thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.